the pound USD. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, I cannot explain how much I'm happy because I have a whole video just to talk about every pair. I mean, that is like freedom for me. It's like I was tied my hand, it was cuffed and finally it's breaking out. Now I can feel free to talk about the pair as much as I want and hopefully everyone will learn how we can do some uh, chart analyzing using Extreme Trader style. So, uh, let's go directly to the analysis. So for the pound USD, I mentioned in my previous analysis that I'm expecting for it to reverse right on the support level. However, the market just continued uh, its bullish momentum. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I said that it's a smart idea to start buying the pound USD, but we needed to wait for the right moment, which, which actually did not come through. Anyway, what is the next thing to, to do now? Okay, so what I'm expecting from the pound USD that it is actually going to continue its uh, growth and this bullish momentum is going to continue its momentum all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here. Let me just be more accurate. Like that, actually even more like that. Let me just be accurate as much as possible, my friends, because yeah, exactly. Look at that. Wow. Check it out. Perfect. So let me just uh, be more accurate here. Now the pound USD is on a very strong bullish momentum and it's continuing its growth. And if I'm not mistaken, one second, guys. Okay. Sorry about that. As I said, the pound USD is going to grow to continue its growth. And the question is where we should uh, actually start selling the pound USD. Actually, as I mentioned, uh, selling once it's entering this zone here, let me just get rid of, rid of that and start drawing the zones just to be sure everyone is satisfied. Like that. You know, actually this is better because it's giving more space um, about the entering the levels. And I think maybe it, uh, giving the exact price is not really smart because we are missing a lot of good entries this way. I mean, this is weekly analysis, not the signal providing a video. So um, we can see that here we have a key resistance level and right here and especially right here also because that actually changed the whole direction of the trend. And we can see it also right here. Let me just uh, draw another resistance line just to be sure where I'm looking at. Uh, just be sure. Mm, the zone is not drawn on the right way, on the, on, the, on the right level. Let me just drag it more. Just be more accurate as much as possible, my friends. All right, yeah, that's better. So this is the, uh, the zone. Once the pound USD entering this level, it's going to be a good idea to start shorting. And if we look at the left, we can see that this level was a very strong suppo uh, key support level right here and right here as well. And it was also a strong resistance level right here. Now, shall we, rally, shall we just rely on this? Absolutely not. Let's do some more analysis. Let's draw using Fibonacci right now. So we can see that this is level 50 Fibonacci, which is actually a very strong level. I don't think it's going to reach level 61.8 because um, this resistance level on daily candles is very strong. As I mentioned in, uh, the, in the past, this level was very strong as a resistance. I don't think the market is going to easily break out from this level. Let's now go to the uh, four hour chart. That, now we can see it actually more clear that this level is going to be respected once the market uh, reaches uh, reach this level. However, what is the next move right now? So this is going to take a long time. We are talking about more than 121 pips. So what should we do next with the pound USD? In my expectation, uh, the pound USD is going to reverse a little bit more down. Let me just uh, draw for you where we should actually start buying the pound USD. Uh, let me just be more accurate as much as possible. Again, I'm doing all of this live in front of you. I didn't analyze the chart before recording. The reason is I want everyone to learn how we can do some analysis using uh, extreme trader style. Now, looking at this, look at that, guys. Please check it out. Once I draw my, resi my resistance line like that, just on this resistance level, check on the left. We can see that this level was very strong as a resistance. It was a key resistance level and it became later a support level as well. 
let's go more to the left and see if this level was actually strong absolutely yes absolutely yes look at that we can see here one two uh, three four and it was also a strong as a, uh, a strong level as a resistance level so uh, let me now just use some trend lines just to be sure if this is the right level to start actually shorting the uh, sorry buying the pound USD so since we are looking for a buy order I need to draw my resistance uh, line on a support level and we can do that by selecting randomly any support uh, trend line which is like this for example yeah this is a support here is a support and this is a support trend line using this line randomly now we can see that the market has respected all the levels look at that we can see the, the reversal happened right here and here and here and we, if, if you just put it anywhere actually we can see that the market has respected the level right here and on this support trend line so what is the right next, next thing to do I just need to draw the to put this uh, resistance this support trend line like that so what we can look for now in my expectation this support level here which has become a resistance we can look for the pound USD is going to reverse we can see that there is a price action indicating a reversal right now a bearish reversal and therefore we can expect the market to continue falling down that is where you want to actually place your buy order for the pound USD now we are buying just the continuation of the trend because this is the pullback and we are going to wait for the pullback to finish once the pullback performed we are going to buy the pound USD and keep your trade running all the way until it hit the level 50 of Fibonacci once the market reaches this previous resistance level and then we are going to short the pound USD so let me just uh, place it here buy after the pullback the pullback perfect after the pullback what does it mean after the pullback it means if there was no pullback if you see a breakout candle approach uh, or appeared on this level then please don't buy the pair and just wait for the midweek analysis to see what we are going to do next of course we are just doing some technical analysis we cannot be sure what will gonna happen I'm expecting that there will be here a reversal after the pullback you have to wait for the price action to be finished don't rush and place the buy order once the candle uh, touch this area here just wait to see what will gonna happen if the market is going to uh, close as a pin bar or a doji or a reverse hammer whatever price action I have taught you about in my channel once you see the, once you see the price action you can place the buy order on the pullback and then hopefully you can continue your trade running for almost uh, 192 pips hopefully will be in profit and then we can actually start sell the reversal hopefully this is gonna happen to be honest with you um, I'm not I'm not expecting this to be happening right this week no uh, I think it's really hard this is the four hour chart and this market is gonna be very slow this month uh, sorry this week so I think we have to wait just for the pullback and then the buy after the pullback is gonna be the signal for this week hopefully by the week after the market might reach this level and we are going to short the pound USD so that was my expectation for the pound USD uh, again thank you guys for watching